Is it going? Yeah. Oh, no. I see a bunch of like YouTube people. Is it going? Is he live? Oh, Maybe just like, oh wait, okay. I am live. Okay, great. We're working. Excellent. Okay, first of all, um, the world is uh, going through a little bit of a, of a tough time right now. Um, so I thought it would be a little bit of a good shtick thing, lighten people's hearts a little bit to wear a hat. Um, it's enjoyable. I personally like wearing that. I thought others might enjoy seeing this. Anyway, that doesn't really matter anymore. <laughs> okay. Um, so, um, as um, as I mentioned, um, Amistral is is definitely going through. Not even Amistral, but the entire world is really going through kind of a tough time right now. Um, and and being in a tough time um, is something that we have to realize isn't just about um, you know focusing on the bad, um, but it's actually an opportunity as well. It's something that we have to view as something that we have to take advantage of. Meaning, from the fact that people are going through such a hard time, from the fact that people have difficulties and are struggling, means that we also have the ability, we also have the ability to help others as well. And that ability as Rav Tarragon likes to say, turns into a responsibility when we're able to take the proper advantage. Um, so what I wanted to do um, today is um, I wanted to discuss a little bit about um, the, concept of <coughs> the concept of chesed, um, specifically in terms of, um, of uh, what is, stands behind it as a principle, and then furthermore, based on that, um, what is it that, um, how can we go about doing chesed for each other um, and maybe relate that back a little bit to what's going on today. Um, so, so the safer that we're going to, uh, they're going to use as our basis is a safer called Ali Shore um, by Rishlomo Volbi. Um, it has to be one of my favorite stars. It's really, really incredible. There's a lot of beautiful ideas in it. Um, and his piece on Chesed is very, very powerful. Um, and I thought that it would be Kedai um, for us to just go through it together. Um, it isn't too, super long or super complicated, but it's something that I think can have an uh, incredible, incredible amount of value. Um, so before we get into his parak um, about Chesed, um, which for those who have the safer at home appears on page Tzadi Gimel um, in Sharshani, um, speaks a little bit about um, what is it that, that's at the root of Chesed. What is Chesed actually? So he bases his words, um, he bases his, his entire principle really off of a Gemara that appears in Masechet Sukkah on Dach Mem Tetan Beis. Um, and and this is what Revolvi writes this in the in the section immediately before his section on Chesed um, on page he writes it on page Sadi Beis and we're going to go to Sadi Gimel in a second and get into Chesed but just to get into the root um, the Gemara he brings down the Gemara that writes the fall he says Vama Rav Lazar Kol Haoset Zdaka Mishpat Kilu Maliat Kol Haolam Kulo Chesed anyone who does Tzedaka and Mishpat justice. As, as if he has filled the entire world with chesed. Shinamar, as the Pasuk says, Ohev tzedakah u mishpat, chesed Hashem ala aretz. Right? One who does tzedakah and mishpat, right? The chesed of Hashem fills the entire world. Shema tomar kol habali kvotz kofets. We'll talk about the, a little bit about what that means later, but reading with the parish of Rashi, it seems to say, maybe you'll say that someone, anyone who wants to immediately go and do an act of chesed, and they're, they're excited about it, they want to go be gomel chesem on chesed, can go and do that, and they'll succeed in doing, in, in doing that chesed. However, that's not the case. The, the, in the Pasuk, therefore, comes to teach us that um, how precious is, is your chesed, Hashem. Right? Meaning, God, the, the chesed is something that has a lot of value. It's very precious. It's something that's rare. Right? It's not something that's easily accessible for anyone who wants to access it. Yeah. So, Yahweh, off your Shemaim, Cain, you might even think that Yerei Shemaim, um, that, that it would be the same by Yerei Shemaim. The people who have Yerei Shemaim are also not able to access chesed. Talmud Lomar, therefore, the puzzle comes to teach you otherwise. The chesed Hashem may olam bar olam al yireyat. The chesed of Hashem is constantly on those who fear Him, right? Those who fear Him and constantly have access. Yira and chesed are two things that go hand in hand. Amr Chama Bar Papa Kol Mishiyeh Shalav Chesed. Anyone who has chesed on him, biadu Ashu Yirei Shemaim. Um, it's it's certain that this person is Yirei Shemaim. Shinamar, as the puzzle says once again, the chesed Hashem may olam bar olam al yireyat. The point that Revolvi brings out from this Gemara that he, the, the the underlying the underlying point between Chesed and Yira is the following concept. 
is that chesed and ira are two things that are pivot around the central the central idea that in order to properly do them, in order to properly have them, a person is required and must be able to see outside of himself, right? Meaning a person who is bound up within themselves a little bit isn't able to properly access it because they're not able to see properly the world around. Um, we'll get into a little bit about what that means regarding chesed. Ira is, is not for now. Um, so we're going to go ahead and dive into we're going to go ahead and dive into the paragraph. So Ravobi writes the following: Yesod Chesed, who the the foundation of Chesed is the following, and he quotes a pasuk in the Parshat Rei: Ki patach tiftach et yad chalo vahavet tavitenu de machas ro asher yachsar lo. Right, a pasuk that says if a person, right, the Torah is talking about if you see a person who's an ani or an evion, someone who's destitute, someone who's poor, someone who's lacking. Right? You have to open your hand to them, you have to lend to them what they're lacking. The thing that they're lacking, you have to give. So Rashi there on the spot comments something that seems a little strange. He says, Afilu susler kovalava ve'evid larutz lefana. Even a horse to ride upon, and even a servant, a slave to run ahead of them. Meaning even things that seem a little bit, you know, a little bit exaggerated potentially, a little bit you know, more than what he needs, right? You have to give him on the condition that that's actually something that he's lacking. So says Revolvi the following. This is something that a person needs to receive. Someone who's stuck within the arbitrariness of their own heart isn't able to properly access chesed, and fill in what a person is talking about. Maybe a person's able to understand that someone's lacking something that you yourself lack. Ulam, however, however, but to get into someone else's shoes and to be in someone else's situation and to see what they're lacking from their own perspective, even if it's right, knowing from based on their past, based on their present, right, even if it's something that seems entirely, entirely extraneous to you, something not needed, not something completely not important, that's not within the power of someone who, who loves just themselves. Meaning the following. Someone who we, naturally people do something that we call in, in that we call as a psychological term projecting. Right? Naturally, when I have something going on inside of my own head, something that's going on with me, naturally that's the thing that I project and view and see I'm able to see in other people. So says Sir Volby, it's not not even is that trait so powerful. The, the thing that I generally see in other people is 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 what's lacking. But additionally, um, but additionally, not only is it, is it something that's lacking, um, but additionally, it's the only thing that I'm able to perceive. Meaning, the only thing that I'm able to perceive, if I don't have the proper eyesight for it, is the fact that someone else is lacking something that I myself am lacking. Now, if that's the case, when someone's lacking what I'm lacking, I understand I'm able to fill in, I'm able to do chesed. However, there's something missing. And the reason is, is because I'm not actually seeing the person for what they themselves are lacking. I'm not actually perceiving the person for what they themselves need. That's not necessarily called a full view of chesed. That's not a complete picture of what's going on. The Achari Shira will be continues. After a person sees what the other person needs, after a person has the perspective, of what the other person needs for what they need, and not just for what I view they need. You need to give. And in order to give, sometimes you need to do that against the will of the person who's on the receiving end. Or that he won't, un he won't perceive that you're really giving to him something. Because we all know it's very difficult to receive something from someone else. And it's possible that the receiving is even more difficult than the giving. 
And therefore, it's necessary to give in a way that is doesn't make it difficult for the person to receive. Akagons and Namar, and that's what we referenced earlier in that Gemara that we read from Masachat Sukkah. Shema Tomar Kol Habali quotes Kofates. Anyone who wants to jump and and be Zoka to do an act of Chesed is immediately able to do that. It's not true. Right? Tell Malom, Ariyakar Nachas Tachalo Kim. It's very difficult. It's something that's very precious because you have to work so hard in order to do it. Bli Avoda V'Yigyara Vat Yachar Lizkod Chesed. Without working hard and toiling, it's impossible to properly be able to perform an act of chesed. Right? To paraphrase Rashi. A person, once again, Rashi said, a person needs to pay attention. They need to put their heart into it. To see, that's referring to, to see what the other person is actually lacking for what they're lacking. And afterwards, you need to work hard. Meaning you have to start doing all these calculations to figure out how is it that the way, not only what am I giving, and it's important about what I give, it's important about how I give it. How can I give it in a way that's going to make people not feel like they're losing a, self, a sense of self-esteem? How am I going to be able to give to people that makes it feel like, it's not like I'm a needy person. Right? No one wants to feel needy. No one wants to feel that they're that they rely fully and and are and are completely incumbent upon upon the chesed of others. It's not. It's people don't want to feel. And therefore, if someone wants to give chesed, right? If someone want, if you want to do something for someone else, and you don't think about how to properly make it so that the kabbalah is going to be as easy as possible, it's it's not it's not a complete act of chesed. It's it's very difficult. Right, it reminds me of it reminds me of the Rambam, where right? so one of the highest levels of chesed is where the ani, the person who you're giving to, doesn't even realize the fact that you're giving to him. It's anonymous. The entire thing is anonymous. Right? It's that same idea. It went, it's easier to receive when a person when you think about how the person is going to receive it. From the person the perspective of the person who's giving. And after you pay attention, you see what the person needs. And after thinking about properly, how am I going to make it so this person is actually going to receive what I need or what they need, and I'm going to be able to give it over in a way that doesn't make them feel horrible about themselves. If a person doesn't chase after the act of chesed, meaning it's not just enough to think about it and to have it all calculated out and to see it, but a person needs to bring it into action as well. You actually need to go out and do something. And it seems to be, said this is a big line, that when a person is a Zofa to actually do a proper act of chesed in its complete form, it has a certain spark, a certain aspect of Ruach HaKodesh. Very powerful. It's something that's really precious. It's something that doesn't come, that's not, it's not Mavan Me'elab, it's not self-understood. It's something that's difficult. That means you're getting too big. A person who's reading these words, we're reading them together. It seems they might seem a little extreme. They might seem a little exaggerated. Why is it so difficult to do chesed? Isn't it just that when a person asks for something, you give it to them? And when you see an ani, you see someone that's that's poor, you give them a, a little bit of money, you give them a pruta. Vote not what more than that. Says Revolbi Hatame Kane, someone who, who asks that question, someone who asks that following away. Siman Sha'adain Eno Roa et Zulat. It's a sign that he doesn't yet see what's lacking in the other person for what they're actually lacking. He has yet to see that, that, that thing that the other person is lacking, that he has the ability to fill, that isn't necessarily something that, that he himself pr is projecting. That's a little bit about the form of, of chesed. That's that's about what stands behind. What's how to do it? What's going on now? Now let's transition for a second into what is chesed. Meaning, how does a person? What what's considered an act of chesed? What is what does chesed really mean in terms of in, in actuality, in practicality? He says chesed eno mitzdam Chesed is not something 
that's limited and bound by money. It's not something that's limited to the world of someone's lacking something, you know, he's lacking a little bit of food, you give him food. He's lacking a little bit of money, you give him a little money. That's not the entirety of what Chesed is. There's more than that. Chiyuch, a smile. Umila tova, or, or a pleasant word, a nice word to someone, a kind word. The kocham lachayot miyashim, it has in their power, is to, they have in, in the power of a smile, in the power of that, of that, of that nice thing, that, 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 that nice word, that has the power to revive those who are in despair. And a word of encouragement to someone is enough to bring someone happiness. A lot of times when we're thinking about chesed, we think about, okay, what can I do to actually physically give something to the other person? But that's not the entirety of what it is, because every person has two aspects of what's going on. There's what's going on on the outside, right? What their, what their situation is like. Do they need food? Do they need this? The things that are physical, their physical reality. But there's also someone's spiritual reality, someone's, someone's thoughts, what's going on a level deep, a level beneath the surface. Chesed isn't just limited to the outside stuff. It's also relevant to the inside stuff. Meaning, when a person sees someone, and you see someone and they're down a little bit, you see someone and they're sad, right? You see someone and they look a little depressed, going over, giving them a pat on the back, uh, maybe not pats on the back nowadays, but, you know, giving them, giving them a bit of encouragement, saying, look, you're doing wonderful things, or saying, you know, things are going to be better, or giving them encouragement, that has the power to revive a person. It has the power to pick someone up literally out of Gehenna. It has their own Gehenna. It has the power to lift someone beyond the boundaries of, of what naturally limits them. And potentially that's even a greater act of chesed. Meaning if you give someone a meal, great, they have food. You've given them a meal. That's an incredible thing. We're not being mazalzal on that at all. But being able to bring someone's matzav ruach, someone's, 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 emotional state to a higher level where they're happier people that is significant as well that's something that has the power to affect what's on the inside and because that affects what's going on for them on the inside it also has the power to affect what's going on for them on the outside and even though on the outside things may not be simple and things may be difficult and things may be not posh people have a little bit of a better perspective on it when they're a little bit happier when they're able to take things a bit with a smile even though we're all going through a hard time, even though right now there are people who are stuck in, in, in you know, isolation and in quarantine, and there's people all over the world, and it's very difficult. Some people cannot leave their houses. You know, in Eretz Israel, we have a rule that you can't be within two meters of anyone. I don't know if that's in America yet, or if it's going to be in America. But you can't get, you, there's a certain level of social, of social interaction that's just limited. So that ability to take that as an opportunity to be like, wait a second. We're limited to social interactions a little bit. So you're right. Someone, I know of a person, let's say, theoretically, you know, theoretically, I know of a person who's stuck in their house and can't leave. I know someone who's in, who's in isolation. So what do you do? A person has the ability, a person has the ability, if you want to just pick up a phone call, just call them for five minutes. If you call them for five minutes, I guarantee you, it will make their day. Say, hi, how are you doing? What's going on? You let them vent a little bit. It has the power to bring it. Chiyos, manj, has the power to bring a new life force and a new spirit to people. And these things are very small. Milvad and despite that, despite the fact that these things are small, how much chesed a person is able to properly give, we are only able to see that there was something that was lacking. And I'll give you the secret. There's another level beyond this. And that's what I think when a person not only is able to en encourage someone else and give someone else a smile, or pick up a phone call, you know, say hi, you know, connect a little bit. It's not only enough that it's, it's not only that it brings the person encouragement and happiness, but it will also bring you happiness. When a person views themselves in a place of I'm not only someone who, you know, I'm looking after myself, but I'm also someone who's looking after someone else. I'm also someone who wants to do better for other people. I want to help other people. I want to make other people happy. Then that work that you naturally put into it is going to be something that helps make you happy as well. On the inside, being able to be that person who's a go-getter and pick up that telephone and say hi to someone and reach out, that's something that not only will bring the other person happiness, but also bring you another level of happiness as well.
Tfilat Eliezer Eved Avram. Now we're going to get into a little bit of a different aspect. It's, it's a proof, maybe you could say, for, for what Revolvi is writing, but I think there's maybe a deeper Nakuda of why he's bringing in this here, and we'll talk about that as well. Right? The, the, the Tfilah that, that Eliezer, the right, Avram's slave, uh, Avram's servant gave, um, would dive into Kanesh Baruch when he was trying to find the Shidduch for, for Yitzchak. I'm standing on the well. The girls, the girls of the city are coming out to draw water. And the girl who I'll say to, can I please have a little bit of water from your jug? And she responds, Not only will I give you some water, but I'll also water your camels. That's the girl who I know, says Eliezer. That is the girl that you have proven to be the wife of Yitzchak. That's the girl who's fit for Yitzchak. And that's how I know, Kadesh Baruch Hu, that you've done chesed. Interesting that it's using it here. That you have done chesed with Avram. With, with, with Avram, right, my master. Mikan, shechesed nivchan lefi ma shemar Right? From here we see that chesed is something that is judged, it's, it's, it's tested on how much a person is able to give. When Rivka not only was able to respond to his request of, can I please have some water from your jug, but also, I will water your camels, that's what proves that she's about chesed. When she doesn't just see what's on the surface, the surface is, can I please have a little bit of water? And the answer is yes. You'd have to be cruel to not say yes. Or, you know, at least not able at the moment to, to not say yes. But that ability to, to say, I'll, I see beyond your simple request, and I'm going to do more than that. I'm going to give also to the camels. That itself proves that she's a Baal Chesed. She's able to see a level deep. Similar to what we saw in Talmud Torah, which is something he's referencing from earlier. Every person has a natural limit on what they currently are able to do to give chesed to others. Everyone's bound a little bit. He and the way we work on chesed, the avoda to do in our chesed is to expand the border of that readiness that we have and to increase in acts of chesed. Now, seemingly, this is something that should have come, I would think, if I was structuring the safer, a little bit earlier. Right? It's something that could come maybe a little bit more, it's more of a basic source. It should be a little bit earlier, no? In, in the parak. So I think the reason that he brings it at the end, towards the end, is as follows. Maybe, maybe, the reason that he's bringing this in now is, is because the way he builds up chesed, the way Revolvi talks about chesed, makes it something that seems to be very difficult. Something that has, it's, it's not simple. It's not as simple as we originally thought it out to be. Right? And therefore, a person might think, am I really a person who's going to be able to open my eyes and see the other person? Am I a person who's really going to be able to, be able to respond to, to what the other person's able to do, to what the other person needs? Am I someone who has that ability? And I think the answer is found in this piece. The answer is yes. How do we know? We know from Rivka, we know from Eliezer, and we know from mainly from Avram. Right? When we think about Avram, Avram's whole personality was chesed. Right? So when we're trying to find the shit off for Yitzchak, we're trying to find a girl who's going to come into, enter into Avram Avinu's house, right? Into his household, into his lifestyle, right? <laughs> the only person that we need to find is someone who's chesed. Right? We need to find someone who's entirely chesed. That's why Eliezer is trying to bring it out. He's trying to say, okay, I gotta find the chesed girl, right? Maybe the whole point of bringing it here is to show, you're right, it's difficult, but it's not something that's impossible. Why is it not something that's impossible? It's because it's something that's, it, that's so incredibly ingrained in who we are as a Jewish people. It's something that's so incredibly ingrained in, in, in our personalities. We get it from our others. We get it from Avram. We get it from, from Yitzchak. We get it from Rivka. These chesed, this level of chesed was something that was just naturally a part of who they are. It's something that's so fundamental. It's, it's in our blood. It's in our blood that, we, that we're able to do this. I Meaning we might think it's impossible. We might think it's incredibly difficult. And it is difficult. And it is, it is you know, we do have our boundaries. But we have our potential. We have the potential to expound those boundaries. That's what we learn from the others and the imams.
And and just to end off, um, just to end off the the parak, um, over here, or almost end off the parak, um, he brings down a story, and I think it's an incredible, incredible story. Um, and the Pesach time is coming up, so it's even shy of with Yana uh, Diyom. He says, Misaprim al Rav, they say about a Rav, I've heard it in the name, I think I once heard it in the name of the Brisker Rav, I'm not entirely sure. Either way, they tell a story about a Rav. Shinishal be'er of Pesach, im yecholim let's say today, mitzvah arba kosot, b'chalav. Right? A, a, a person once came to the Rav of the town and said, Rebbe, can I be yotze, can I fulfill my mitzvah of dalad kosos, the four cups of wine on Pesach, with milk? Harav heshiv b'shlila. The Rav responds, I'm sorry, no you can't. V'natan l'shoel, schum hagun shal kesim. And gave the asker a, a a significant sum of money uh, in order to in order to in order to go and uh, and be able to buy what he wants. So Shalu, Mara Allah Tait Leish Kohar Kesa. So his Talmidim come over and ask Rebbe, what is it that made you see? What is it that, that caused you to give him so much money? You gave him a significant amount. You gave him much more than he needs for a bottle of wine or two. Why is it that you gave him more than he needs? Amar Harav, and the Rav responds, Mishaela to Hevanti, from his question I understood, Kilo Rakyain in Logo Pesach, it's not just that he's missing wine on Pesach, Elagam Basar in Lo, he doesn't have meat. Shahare wrote that Lishto Chalav with Dalit Kosu, because he wants to drink milk for his Dalit Kosu. Natati Lo Kesef Likilo Basari Viyain. Therefore, I gave him money to, in addition to be able to buy wine, to also buy meat. Zehu Mabat Shalchat. That is the perspective of Chazi. When a person is able to see a deeper level of what's going on, when a person is able to perceive that someone's going through a difficult time, that's the time where we have to be able to, to, to strengthen ourselves and be able to respond. Once again, Am Yisrael and the world right now is going through a difficult time. Being able to strengthen ourselves a little bit and reach out to those who we think and we know are having a difficult time is something that we all have the ability to do. Once again, a five-minute telephone call has the ability to do it. And it can be something that changes a person's life. It can be something that changes a person's day. It can be something that raises a person up and gives them a new level of, of chiyos, a new level of, of, of spirituality, a new level of, of, of life. That's chesed. That's what we're trying to accomplish. That's something that we need to think about a lot over the course of the next few days. It's something that we should give a lot of thought to over the course of this difficult time that we're going through. And, and Bezrat Hashem, if, if we're Zoha, to be able to properly do chesed for others and to be able to, to pick ourselves up and, and go out and have an effect on others and try to, you know, try to make, make it better for other people, and Bezrat Hashem, Toch Kadei, naturally, it'll also have an effect on ourselves and, and our own situation where we'll improve as well. Bezrat Hashem, we should, Hashem should send us uh, Rafua. And uh, and uh, and uh, and be matzal us from from this ace sara, um, but 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 if it is going on right now, which it is, then we should be able to take advantage of it, advantage of it, and as an opportunity, and not just something that that is you know we're suffering from. But we should be able to look at it and really and really take away from it, and really really use it to grow. Anyway, I wish everyone to have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day and have an excellent yeah. chance. Good.